BAFTAs. So that is the British Academy of Film and Television Arts, or BAFTA. Uh, I believe the nominations were just announced. So BAFTA uh, was an organization founded in 1947 as the British Film Academy. Uh, and then uh, in 1958, the Academy merged with the Guild of Television Producers and Directors to form the Society of Film and Television, which eventually became the British Academy of Film and Television Arts in 1976. Um, they have charitable purposes where they aim to, quote, support, develop, and promote the art forms of the moving image by identifying and rewarding excellence, inspiring practitioners, and benefiting the public. Essentially, the award ceremony, uh, the BAFTA film ceremony, is the British equivalent of the Oscars. Uh, as of 2008, it happens in the Royal Opera House in London, uh, where, uh, and it is where the 75th British Academy Film Awards will be held on March 13th this year, honoring the best national and foreign films of 2021. Uh, but they did just announce their nominations. And as always, I think there's that element of film season, film award season, even if this is more British specified, sort of keeps, you know, if something's really on a roll mm -hmm. uh, in award season, it sort of becomes relevant to anybody who's interested in, you know, the Oscars or the, well, not the Globes anymore. But. <laughs> And we and yeah, so if, for those of you, so I I didn't know it was like like when when uh, Amy was like, let's talk about the Baptist, and I was like, you know what, I, what I don't know much about the Baptist, and I thought I thought about it, I was like, because I love the Oscars, and I remember hearing about the BAFTA awards, and I was like, let me show how my my ignorance. <laughs> I I wonder is the BAFTA awards the equivalent to, and sure enough, and I looked it up, and it, it turns out it is. It is the equivalent to the, the British version of the of uh, the Oscars. And I totally respect um, how uh, the, 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 st the, the level of, um, I guess, of education, of, of dedication, of what over there, they, acting, they take that very seriously. There's a reason why most of our uh, our heroes in our, our comic book movies are British. There's a reason why when you watch Yellowstone, if you love that show Yellowstone, if you look at Beth, that the, one of the craziest, most country, most wildest, cowboyest characters, Beth, is British. And, for, and it blows people's minds that the, that the most country character on the show wild heart like stallion like ah she's crazy and she's so beloved and she's not even a, uh, she's not even american she's a uh, she's british there's a do you reason think it's interesting does she do kind of an accent because she 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 is whatever the, the she's the the country act american accent that she's doing nailed it perfectly I every think person it's interesting it's actually easier for uh American People accent. Who have a British accent to do like a more like Southern or country American accent than like a really standardized neutral American dialect. People don't even realize that there are You're closer that there are different types of British accents. Like oh my god, Cogni and things like you that. No, yeah, you can literally all but tell what block someone is from in certain Hello, governor. <laughs> just like that no but like I, I you know i've spent some time in the uk it is it is specific down to the point of like oh that's a you know that's a west london accent that's an accent from this part of london like the towns that it's so 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 specific but mm -hmm. um anyways yes we do have our bafta nominations one thing i think is interesting it's very similar to the oscars mm -hmm. but you do have um in addition to best film outstanding british film uh, outstanding debut by a British writer, director, or producer mm -hmm. is a category, as well as, I Who, mean, they have the standard, like, original screenplay, for, director, uh, adapted screenplay, actor, actress. What do we have for, um, be for best film? They uh, they have, what, Don't Look Up? They have Doom? They have uh, uh, Licorice, Licorice Pizza? They have The Power Licorice of the... Pizza. Licorice mm -hmm. Pizza, The Power of the Dog? Yeah. Uh, uh, but I, some of the, I just think it's interesting how they have a couple that feel so funky to my brain of like best casting, which I honestly think should be an award more award yes. ceremonies give out. Like, we well, the, o the Oscars get, does, don't they have a casting? Uh, no. Ensemble, on, ensemble. Are what were underrated? Who, who's, for how much they? What's the what's the award ceremony that does ensemble best ensemble? But does that's for like ensemble performance, not ensemble. Mm, like, that has nothing to do with cast. Picked the cast. I thought the Oscars did that. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! 
Uh, I like uh, they got documentary. Uh, the Rising Star Award. They have for what? Rising which is Star voted for by the public, not the uh, the BAFTA. They made they, they made sure to have a category that America couldn't have a hand in outstanding British film, yeah. <laughs> uh, film not in English language. Okay, best like 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 the best foreign film. Uh, they got best document uh, entry. Uh, I like film not in foreign language. That feels more like specific and mm. helpful than foreign film. And I agree. Uh, what I, else? I like specificity. Best lead, and then they, they have some some similarities here. Best leading mm, actor. No, and again, I think part of why people keep an eye on it, even in America, is it feels like a little bit of a. Let's give a glimpse of what's going to happen probably in the Academy Awards. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think so. Best leading actor, for example, for best leading actor and best leading actress, uh, for example, you Mahersha Ali, you got Will Smith. Uh, wow, let's uh, let's look at that best leading actor, uh, Adil Akhtar for Ali and uh, Ava. Uh, I've never even heard of that movie. I'm sorry. Mersh Mer Ali, Swan Song, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, The Power of the Dog, Leonardo DiCaprio, Don't Look Up. Don't Look Up on that. Wait, the Netflix film? BAFTA Award for Don't Look Up. I yeah, Don't Look Up seems to be in a fair number of these categories. I haven't seen it. I thought it was going to be one of those other another one of those throwaway Netflix movies. Is that really good? Is it I good? I mean, it's a very stacked cast. It's a it's, stacked um, cast. Doesn't mean it's good. But I mean, did it's, you, have you seen it? I haven't. Do you want to see it? I I you're like I haven't. Do you want to see it? I don't. <laughs> I okay. I just I because I know it's all like an allegory for climate change, which is just Things have just been so bleak between COVID and just the state of the world. That mm. honestly, you know how sometimes it's like, I'm sure this is good, and I just don't know if I'm like mentally there. If right you're now. ready, yeah, yeah, you gotta be in a, you gotta be in a place to watch. But I've also it. heard it's not like, like it's it's depressing. It but looks it's a not little like, funny. It looks a little funny. Yeah, it's 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 uh you know satire more than a, yeah exactly. Like, hold your head underwater. Uh, Stephen Graham for Boiling Point, Will Smith for King Richard. Re Re King Richard was a great movie, really good, really good. Watch that. Uh, maybe I should watch more. I, I should probably watch the ones that I haven't seen. Uh, Best supporting actress, real quick. Uh, won't take up too much time. Uh, supporting actress. Uh, wait. Is that best? Is that best actress or best supporting actress? It's lead. Here's leading and here's support. Where's leading actress? Where's leading? Did I did I miss it? Lead I think it's just best actor, the, best actress, and then support. Here no. Here's best leading actress. There we go. Lady Gaga, House of Gucci. I uh, hate that movie. I have not watched it yet. Did you? It's did, so was bad. she bad? Was she bad in it though? Was she? She's does fine. she? Does she, she deserve the best thing in it? But that's not saying much. Like. I, know, I do love how crazy. I want to do a whole segment on just how insane Lady Gaga is because I let's love, do it. Let's do it. I love a good life. By the way, guys, if you if you have if you have not watched Amy's Newman's video uh, about movies that have passed the Bechdel test, go check it out. It's it def definitely should be cons uh, nominated for an Oscar. Uh, by the way, but go check. It. So yeah, if you ironically wanted... didn't pass the Bechdel test, but yeah, what? But you talked about I'm the only person in it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. Yeah, yeah it's me. One, uh, a, a woman with a another. Friend. Yeah, you should. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, well. I'm sorry. Well, I couldn't win them on. Damn it! I want. But no, Lady got. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. A, I hate that movie. <laughs> be, like she did so much of the like there's no way to set yourself up for failure like talking about how intense your creative process was right you know like nothing's going to make me watch a movie more critically than if i've read interviews with you being like i literally vomited on set multiple times because i was so worked up and mm. emotional and i went to such a dark place and then you watch it and she's like it's time to take out the trash and you're just like um was that russian it's it, she's italian <laughs> i can't do it so maybe point gaga but like, was, they, know, was lady gaga auditioning like, to be black widow he's like doing the like 
really over the top but Italian well, accent. I was just about to speak on that like I know you say I bring up his channel too much on on our channel but John Campia is Italian and he said and he said on his show as an Italian I th I was ready to be offended by some of these crazy accents but um Jay Leno's character he I forgot what he said about everybody else but he said Jay he Leno's character Yes. Jared Leto? Jer J oh. <laughs> That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Jared Leto. <laughs> I said Jay Leto. <laughs> Jared Leto. They he was expecting to hate that performance. But he was like, damn, he that I have relatives that or I know people or something like that that talk like that or act like like like, like something I like that. Like, I'm not Italian, anything. so <laughs> I've never hated anything more than I've hated Jared Leto's performance in that movie. But he said, as an Italian, he it's, said, but this is hearsay from a third party, so don't don't take my word for it. I'm not go saying ask John Campion. Offensive to the Italian people, I'm saying it was a bad performance, and his prosthetics are terrifying. Yet, but he's old but smooth it's so look up a picture of it it's horrible i saw it i i, I like was i was impressed like man shit but then they didn't give him winkles so he's just smooth yeah because rich people get botox i he's was impressed rich i was impressed well i haven't seen the movie i was impressed because he uh because you could t you could tell that was it was him it's 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 one of the most embarrassing fucking performances I've ever seen in my life. Oh, oh, language. But moving on real quick. Uh, so after that, there's uh, Anna uh, Hames for uh, Licorice Pizza. She's great. I haven't I seen that. It. Have you seen that movie? Is it, gr is I it did. good? I did. I just watched it. Is it good? I got to see it. Uh, it. Yeah. I have some I have some quibbles with it that I think a lot of people have. Uh, Does it pass the Bechtel test at any point? <laughs> uh, I think so. It also has a 25 year old in like a sort of relationship with a 15 year old. I heard, I, I heard about that. I heard about that. But yeah. if you're willing to put that aside and kind of try if, to see it, for if, you're think, if you're willing uh, to put Andrew that aside, before, it's, it's a really fun movie. if you're willing to put that aside in 2022, which no one will is nowadays are, if this was 1995, it would have already had the Oscars. Well, and that's the other thing, like having to sort of, it's not, isn't, it, isn't it a period piece? Isn't it, is it, it based? Is. It's set in 1973. And that's part of it of like, people wouldn't have really batted an eye at that in 1973. Exactly. And, and, you know. and you know what? And that's what people need to remember. While you're trying to judge everything on the, on today's standards, think about like how I, or, yeah, look. That if she's in her twenties and he's in his, the character's fifteen, the actor probably really isn't a fifteen-year-old. Uh, nobody right. today is going to be that dumb. I hope not. It's also there's an innocence to it that I think helps it work. <laughs> uh -huh. Like there's a, it's you know, it's all very like first love sort of. But do you re age, do, but do you not. recommend it? Like, should I watch? I like, would recommend it. Yes. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll be curious about it. I'll, if, I will watch if, it. If you can get past that, like I know for some people, it's just like, I well, I'm okay. for that. And yeah. that's like, that's totally fair. Yeah. Uh, and I can respect that choice. But yeah. if, if you're cool with that, yeah well i, I I'm, I'm one of the, uh, not, well you know me you know, I'm, I'm, but, one of, I'm one of those guys that's gonna go in knowing nobody really is underage and all this i right. i know that and i and i know again, it's uh, not there's it's not like there's like graphic sex scenes or anything like that like, like it's all very it, it's not, not eat through mama thought being mm, mm. <laughs> chef's kiss love those scenes no, uh, it's, it's, it's a very charming movie but uh, uh, next up was uh, is it uh, Renata? Uh, is it Rinsev, the worst person in the world? I never heard of this film. Why does she look familiar, Renata Rinsvi? Why does she look so familiar? She looks so familiar to me. I gotta look this up. Uh, Joanne Scanslin, After Love, and then uh, Tessa Thompson in Passing. Pat, is that? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had the picture like, wrong. I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. I was off by one. She transformative performance. Like, 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 oh yeah, like that's passing. Like, oh no, that's 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 so passing that that is a white woman right there. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, Tessa We're Thompson. talking about Jared Leto's prosthetic. Damn! Well, wow. Tessa Thompson right there in passing. That another movie I, I'm curious on seeing. Mm-hmm. And, I'll, and, I, and if we had more time, I would have gone into more of the categories, but we, we just don't. Like, for example, casting, choreographing, uh, editing. Uh, I see James Bond is, uh, is in there. Uh, uh, production design. Uh, in the Baptist, we have uh, costume design, makeup and hair. Oh, good. That's good. Uh, sound, uh, obviously. Okay, obviously. Special visual effects. That's good. You're like, yeah, I like that as a category. What? Uh, special visual effects? You were like makeup and hair. That's good. Makeup, uh, makeup and hair. Gotta have that. That's good. No, I'm sorry if I said it so fast. You know what? Just because I did say it like that, I'm going to give it some, I'm going to put a spotlight on it. Uh, but cre- Corella, uh, make for makeup and hair. Hey, hey. That's a good pick. They, uh, for as far as makeup and hair, Corella Deville did a great job for that. So I'm not mad at that uh, uh, pick. I haven't seen uh, this movie. Uh, was it uh, Cre- Cere- 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 I feel Cere- like it's getting some love at the Baptist. I don't know if that'll translate. I've heard, I've been hearing a lot about it, and I have, and, I, and I'm curious about it. Obviously, that Dune. I, Dune. Dune is gonna get some nominations, man. Dune's, I feel like it's not gonna win the big awards, but I could see it doing a lot of like sound design. You, <laughs> you know what? And and when and then when things got busier, here's some behind the scenes stuff real quick. When things got busier and you had to like you know pull back from you know doing streams with me for a little while, and then uh, I got Sarah to come in. Sarah mm-hmm. is Sarah Sarah Catherine the Red. She is, I, and for some re- re- weird reason, I always have to say her full Instagram name. I don't know why. I just have to. Sarah Catherine the Red loved Dune. And whenever we talk about it on this channel, I talk about it as if I've seen it. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> so, sorry, Sarah. Of, oh, my God. That's my, that's my fucking MO on this channel. I got a lot of opinions about this movie I haven't gotten to yet. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I have not I watched it. I didn't see it, but I read a tweet. I read a couple of tweets. We got uh, so we got Doom. We got the uh, the uh, the Eye of Tammy Faye with Lindsay Dowd. Uh, I heard that was pretty good. Uh, and your other favorite movie, House of Gucci, uh, yeah. uh, in this category of hair and makeup. Oh, come on, you didn't. Okay, well, how was he the hair and makeup? Driver hair that somehow made him look prepubescent. I'm yeah. upset. And then you didn't like that hair and makeup? Okay, I don't know. But uh, moving on. But yeah, and then. Um, what, what I else? like that rising star category. Rising star category. What is it? This, uh, we bottom. have sound. We have special effects. We have British short animation. That's good. British short film. Uh, wait. That's not the. That's not sound and makeup. That's was rising, rising star. Rising star category. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Yeah. No, I think that's a fun, and I guess that's voted on by the public. Why does she look familiar? Is that she's uh, Anita in West Side Story? That she just hosted um, Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I she's have. She's going places. She's a rising star. You, you see me a freeze framing right now. I have such a crush on her right now. <laughs> I have she's, yeah, she's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, Harris uh, uh, Dixon, very good looking guy. I am securing my masculinity to say that as well. Uh, hey, I know her, uh, Lashana Lynch, uh, from, uh, she's in Bond and what else was she in besides Bond? She's the new double O, I thought was what I heard. I haven't seen it yet, but she's the new double O. Um, uh, Melissa, uh, Mel- uh, Melissa Simmons. Don't know her. I don't know she her. She looks very familiar to me. I don't know if I've seen anything she's been in. Uh, Cody Smith McPhee. Oh, Yeah. He's in Year of the Dog, right? Oh, okay. I haven't seen Which it. Which I almost just called Hair of the Dog. Power <laughs> of the Dog. I always want to call it Hair of the Dog. So, But you know what? I don't know. Oh, Millicent Simmons is the girl from A Quiet Place. Oh, my God. That is her. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. Okay. I never. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. And let me just go back to let me just go back to Miss De Bre- uh, over there real quick. Oh, okay. okay, I gotta watch West Side Story. Oh, okay, uh, but yeah, yeah, you love her. Watch, watch that. It's great. Man. But uh, the Baptist. There you go, guys. Look, I have never or watched. As we have dubbed it Lord Oscar. Lord, Lord Oscar, sir. This, uh, yeah, the Royal Oscars. Yeah, you to to mention to talk about the Baptist. You got to put your fingers up like this. The breath, though. That's, that's if you're talking about House of Gucci. Oh, oh yeah, you're you gotta, right. You gotta do a one. What, 
what 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 what's the British thing? What's the British thing? Like the the tea with like holding a glass with the the, the yes. pink the pinky up as I drink my this is such a... the uh... BAFTA the <coughs> BAFTA awards. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what that was, but I did it. Yeah, hit him with a couple of rums. So <laughs> God, look, hey, look, I've never watched the BAFTA Awards, but for some reason, I'm going to be honest with you, when when Amy brought up the BAFTAs, I, I, the second I saw that text, I was like, I'm, you know what? I've never watched the BAFTAs. I don't but, even know if they're available in the U.S. But you know, well, I'm sure we'll, maybe, maybe I won't be able to catch it live, but I will watch them. I'll, I'll try to find a way to watch it. Maybe if on YouTube or whatever. I'll try to find it. Did you just the BBC, you know, you know, I'll, maybe I'll watch it on that, you know, not not that BBC. Come on, get your head out of the gutter. But uh, I'll watch, I'll try to watch it, and I'll I want to check it out. I'm I'm curious on it because uh, it it was interesting when the second you brought it up, it it made me think I need to expand my horizons and, and check these things out. So I'm gonna check out the Baptist. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I do and read some tweets about it and pretend I know. <laughs> you know that well there you go peace out our supporters help make all this content possible so make sure you check out our patreon page so you can help us bring you the content you want push the pedal to the freaking metal i'm turned up just like heavy metal yo 